Hi again. So here I am in Worcester. I've just been out enjoying a walk and that was great. I really enjoyed it. And right now I'm just about to have some lunch. So I've been to this place called the Cornish Bakehouse and I thought I'd just show that off because they do some good stuff and they do different things like pastries, you know, like pasties and sausage rolls. They do pizzas, donuts, uh, different things, obviously drinks like coffee, different hot foods, baguettes, you know, all this kind of stuff. And so this is a Cornish Bakehouse and they have a variety of different choices of pasties. They even list them on the bag, as you can see. But the one that I bought today, this is uh, one of their special pasties. It's a spinach and ricotta pasty. So this is spinach and ricotta. Look at that. So you've got spinach and then there's ricotta, which is an Italian cheese. So that sounds really good. And so you can kind of see it already, but yeah, here we go. I'm going to be reviewing this on the three senses. So first is the sight. So I like the bag, obviously, and the fact that it lists, you know, the fact that it has the different pasties listed on here, I like that as well. And the pasty itself looks very good. It looks good quality. It's warm as well, which is just what you want. And now for the smell. You can just, oh, look at that. <laughs> got the bell going off so yeah where was I okay this smells good I mean you can smell the pastry you can kind of smell the spinach as well because there's a little bit of spinach there and I can smell that and it is a good smell but yeah this is just going to be the taste so let's get to it Hmm. Good pastry. Haven't gotten into the spinach yet. It's just a big bit of pastry on the outside. So... You can see that in there now. Look at that. Let's get a bite of that. Let's really taste it. Three, two, one. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, that's a good taste. That's a really good taste. Look at that in there. Spinach. Uh, ricotta cheese. It's all just mixed together. And then obviously uh, and, then, and then obviously you've got the ingredients that make up the pasty. You know, such as potato. I think there's onion in here as well. You know, the general ingredients that go into a pasty. All of that combined with spinach and ricotta. It's really good. Mm. And it's nice and warm as well. Mm. Good hot meal. And look at the pastry. Great quality. Mmm. This is so good. It's just great. Wow. Now you can really see it. Look at all that in there. It's great quality. It was about 365, I think it was 395, something like that. So it's not even that much, but it tastes great. Mm. Mm. I can really taste it now. 
so overall, I really like this one. And so, I'm going to rate it 9 out of 10. Because, in terms of pasties, this is probably one of my favourites that I've ever had so far. I mean, in terms of ones that don't even have any meat in there, this is definitely my favourite. I, I think this is actually the only one that I've had that doesn't contain meat. You know, I think typically, you know, a typical pasty, it's minced beef, uh, potato, onion and swede, and Ginsters, that's a popular brand here in the UK, and I really like that. You know, I'm not a vegan, but this one just sounded so good that I thought I've got to give it a try. Mm. Definitely, definitely one of my favourite pasties. It's a really good place. I mean, the pasties, you know, they're nice and warm and everything, so yeah, if you ever get a chance and you're in Worcester, then take a look at that place. Definitely. <clears throat> and yeah, that's it. So. So yeah, I'm just here enjoying life and it's great fun. Great fun to be out here. I'm really enjoying this. You know, it's a great lunch. You know, good to do this just after going for a walk. And yeah, I'm just really enjoying myself and I hope whatever you're doing, that you're enjoying yourself. And so, yeah, this is it. You know, everything's good with me. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and yeah, see you next time.